feel like it's going to be extremely educational. I'd say uh, to enjoy one of my favorite places on earth. Buscar destinos que no estén masificados con el turismo eh, para poder ofrecer un valor añadido a los clientes. But also um, the idea at the end that we're all going to come together and learn from each other. Yeah, a little bit more of an active safari than what I've seen elsewhere. I like the idea of the sustainability of this fan, like just learning about, you know, something different in, within Africa. The destination I've always wanted to explore more and get to know more and pass it on to clients. And just, you know, sort of rooting what's best to start with, where it's best to end with. I thought I'd learn a lot. I thought especially about Zambia, since I haven't been here before, and I think it's a place that a lot of people don't know about. So, we are at Mfuri International Airport, heading up to Tafika, up in the Insefu sector, um, driven by Brian on the front. Well, you'll find Tafika and the bush camps a bit more authentic than other camps. Yeah. 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 Grass huts. Yeah. Comfortable grass huts. We're John and Carol Coppinger um, from Remote Africa Safaris. This is our flagship camp, which is Tafika, which has been our home since when? 95. Yeah. We took our first booking, I think, about two months before we even got here. It was just virgin <laughs> push, and we've always worked in this part of the valley, um, yeah. in the northern part of, 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 of south of the Nsefu sector. And just knew, knew the area, loved it, nice and quiet up here, and um, we prefer to be in the more remote areas. Subsequent to that, we set up um, walking camps inside the park. So quite close to from here, the, the closest crocodile is just four kilometers as the crow flies. And then Chikoko, um, 8Ks. And that's a concept that we had sort of followed prior to coming here, which is walking only. But we don't like the roads, no roads at all, so it's walking only. Just follow animal trails, hippo trails, and 98% of our employees come from the local village. So all the wages the monthly wages are going to the village, and that's, the, that's really the driving force of their little economy. So here we are at Mfuri Lodge. We've just driven down from the Insefu sector and then hit the main road, and we are at um, the home of the Bush Camp Company. So this is the main HQ. Down at the Bush Camps, we are the only cl uh, um, company with any concession in that area. So you're not going to see another vehicle here. One of the, uh, oh. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Kapamba. Thank you. Thank you. Julia, it's lovely to see you. How are you? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Nice to meet you, Anderson. Yeah, Fanwell. Good. Oh. Hi. Fanwell, nice General to meet you. Warren. Nice oh. to meet you, Warren. Yes, that was... Hello. Welcome to my old home, Kapamba. Um, we're down at the most southerly tip of um, the Bush Camp Company camps after quite a drive. Um, we're going to head out now and try and catch the end of the sunset um, and then up early in the morning, do some walks, um, try and get some drives in. But I'm standing right now looking at the most stunning elephant in the Kapamba River, blood red sun coming down. So um, we will report on more later. We're about to head out um, around the Kapamba area. Really, see what we can find. We've got Kelvin here doing an eight star with the wheel. I think we're on the hunt for dogs. The best reason or the main reason is uh, that's uh, my dream job. That's what I always wanted to do from when I was a kid. I had some vouchers on the tree. The dogs are beyond the vouchers. Can you see the dogs? Yeah.
And we've got like a whole nursery of wild dog right in front of us. And we've spent the last 24 hours really with them on foot, uh, four by four. Uh, yeah, it's really special. Morning. Here we are in Fury Lodge. We're going to head out to um, the school that uh, Bush Camp Company has sponsored. From there we're going to go via Tribal Textiles and then up to Mfuri Airport and then just fly, we're taking a charter. So we're going to fly straight down into Royal um, and then start our safari down in the lower Zambezi. The school is partially supported, yes, by the government, school development committees, as well as different tour leaders, including Mfui Lodge and the Bush Camp Company. So the whole idea of tribal textiles, as you have seen within most of these camps, all the people who run the camps are men, predominantly. Um, so this was an opportunity, um, it's like a women's outreach um, program where women are brought in to make designs and hand paint and then dry various textiles which are then made into cushion covers, bed throws, napkins, all that kind of stuff that we'll see here. Well, thank, thank you very much. It's been our pleasure. Yes, thank you. And I will always bye. Okay, we're off. We got our little plane to fly directly from Mfuri, saying goodbye sadly to South Luangwa, and down to the Lower Zambezi, where we're going to Chiawa. Zambia, baby. Shower camp. Actually, we've got a boat ride and another drive, and then we'll be there. We don't have any species here that no one else doesn't have. It's how we get to interact with and view those species from the river and the bush. We mix and match the activities. We've got mountains, the river in between them, islands, floodplains, woodlands, forests, thickets. A big variety of habitat and environment makes for very interesting and very attractive game being circumstances. We go out into the villages and do environmental education, which basically convinces uh, them that the wildlife and habitat is uh, worth more to them uh, alive and destroyed. It just gives you a nice um, change from other, other places in the area. Um, if you're down by the falls, all you hear is the helicopters. If you're just away from the door. But I'm not pretending to be in the bush.